Uh, we're celebrating on the base, uh, on the back of our success of last year, the Ultimate Beauty Guide for 2015. Um, this year we've come in with a real punch. We've got some exciting new information and uh, new treatments and new experts uh, uncovering some pretty exciting innovations. So the guide is all about uh, educating and informing consumers, but really sort of simplifying consumers' choices because beauty regimes have got so complicated these days. And the, and the guide is really to, to give people a taste of everything from the face, the body, um, uh, different types of treatments from plastic surgery right through to over-the-counter beauty products that, that, that work. Um, so it's sort of outlining some of the, the good treatments but giving a really sort of objective view of, of what's out there. I mean, does the guide in any way tackle some of the issues that we're facing, for example, cosmetic tourism? There is a, an article specifically about uh, e exactly that, around the tourism side of things, and it, and it gives you some top tips on, on what to look out for, what to avoid. Um, it's still happening. There is some good treatments that are still being done overseas, but it does give you some handy tips if you are considering that option. I think, um, really, it's, it's become a lot more accessible for a lot of people. I think... Plastic surgery, I think, uh, is, is still there, but because of the, the developments of the new technologies in the aesthetic industry, you don't really have to go under the knife. You can have short, sharp treatments in, in, your, uh, in your lunch break that are, um, that are really effective. So, yeah, I think, although it's going up, I think uh, the procedures and the treatments that are out there are having to come under fire to become a lot more safer in, in terms of results and reliability. So. Yeah, I mean, a couple of the guys here tonight, I mean, um, BTL Exilus uh, is a good, reliable radio frequency machine that helps sort of burn some of the fat and uh, body sculpt and um, Neostrata and Exuviant skincare. Got some great new SPFs out, which uh, have always been a difficult um, thing to tackle, but they've got a great SPF 50, which is like, it's like butter melting in your hands, really, which is great. Overall, what do you think makes someone attractive? I think what makes someone attractive is really someone that really looks after themselves. You know, they keep they keep healthy, they keep fit, um, they've got a good balanced diet, um, and maybe when they touch on the aesthetic side of things, they're just sort of top up treatments to just make them make them look good and just feel good.